Welcome to Minnesota Resort Sales Outdoors. We've made our way up near Big Fork, Minnesota. We're with John and Sherry Porth. They just bought Loon Point Resort from Minnesota Resort Sales. We've been promised by Sherry that she's gonna put us on fish. It's their first summer. We're gonna tour the resort, take a look around, meet some of their guests, and we are gonna get after the fish. You stay tuned. Minnesota Resort Sales Outdoors will be right back. Who's that? I got one going like a path. Look at that. Yeah, that's a dandy. Look at here. Look at the size of that bluegill, huh? There's a bonus again. That's wow. about four bonuses today. It's nice, nice. Yeah, that's back and forth, back and forth. No weeds over there either, so there's a little bit. I snagged one there. I think that's the thing. I gotta slide this down a little too deep. It's a honey hole there. It's not feeling real heavy yet. No, it looks like another one of them about the same. You gotta fight through the little guys to get the 10 inchers. Uh, we caught a lot of these too. Well, like I say, it keeps the kids busy yeah. if nothing else. Yeah, this one's got some weight. Under the big log? Yeah, I got it in the shade there finally. Oh, whoa. We have a bass. bass. Might have to tighten this Fun on the up. ultralight though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there, there's no way a bluegill would pull this hard. Woke a bass up under his log, huh? Oh, yeah, that's a decent bass. Looks like about a 12, 14 incher maybe, or a little more. Oh yeah, he's a little better than that. Yeah, that's a decent one. Want to net him so you don't break a line? Yeah, probably better. Yeah, that's a pretty good size one. That's fun. Yeah, wow. That, that'd be fun snagging them like that. Right there. Yeah, that's a beauty. That's fun. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's pretty. smacked as soon as it went down right on the edge of the shade. Another little bluegill. Hmm. Starting to get a little bigger. Yeah, See now a little better. Now they're getting there. Still not them big black ones yet though. Bluegill. Yep. A little salad with your fish. <laughs> nice size. Yeah. Little guy again. We found the little guys. Yeah, we can't find them. They the sure like one. that shade, don't they? It's too small. Stop filming. <laughs> That's a decent little bass. Grab the net behind you there, Mike, if you want, or you can just lip it. Look at there! Sweet! Oh. Very nice. Nice. Really bring us, Look at that bring us luck. Look at that service. Awesome. <laughs> My little worm did the trick. Oh, look at her go. Real? Real? I'm trying! Well, no, you're not. You're not trying. I'm trying. trying. Here, let me tighten your regard up a little bit. Okay, now real. <laughs> Show us how it's done, honey. Yeah. Let me get out of your way so we can get you on camera and we can dip it for you. Wow, look, look at, at Sherry. Look at that. Bring it right to, right to me, can you, eventually? Oh, that's a beauty. Oh, look at that. That is a beauty. 
That's a sweet one. I knew she was gonna bring us luck. That a boy, Mike. Good job, honey. That's a dandy. Wow. Yeah, he's gotta be. He's gotta be three, maybe even more. Sweet. Lip him there. Hold him. You Look at the him. lady of the resort. Hold him with your. You can. You can hold him, honey. <laughs> no, Come I'm on. not gonna hold him. Mm -hmm. This, sure. kind of, this is pulling a little nice bit. This might be one of them little better ones. Another Wasan Lake Giant. Yeah, it's not a giant, but oh, it's that's decent. A nice bluegill there, hey. Getting better. Very nice. Yeah, that's a that's more what we're after. Ooh, he's still. That'd be good for dinner, huh? Yeah, that's a dandy. Might as well start keeping them. Throw them in the box. Ah, we'll let him go. Yeah, that's respectable. Getting thick. Yeah, that's respectable. That's about as good as we've seen, I think. John Port. John and his family moved up from Worthington, Minnesota. They bought this resort. It's beautiful, Loon Point Resort on Wasson Lake, just outside of Big Fork, Minnesota. Actually had to cut through the Iron Range to come and see you guys. It's a pretty unique atmosphere up here. So you guys have a lot of acreage here, lots of lakeshore, and some beautiful log cabins here. How many cabins total, John? We've got nine total cabins. We've got three of the authentic log cabins that were built new in 2007. And then we actually have a separate lake home on its own two acre lot. That's a two story home. And then we've got five of the classic lake cabins that were built in the late 50s, which kind of gives a broad spectrum to you know, different guests if they want the, the older, more rustic cabin or the new cabin with the amenities, you know, air right. conditioning, dishwasher, all that good stuff. And you guys have got a lot of lake shore here. What was the total lake shore? We got had? about 2,500 feet of lake shore, 53 acres of woods. Yeah, we got some walking trails through the woods that are mowed and groomed. So yeah, you can kind of, kind of do a little hiking through the woods if you like, or plenty of lake shore to kind of walk around on and explore. You got a little bit of everything here. So what they name all your cabins after trees? Yeah, basically. Balsam, maple, what yeah. else? You got them memorized? Oh uh, yeah, we got red pine, jack pine, birch, aspen, spruce. They're and big, then, nice buildings. Look yeah, at these are these are two of them log cabins that they built new in 2007. They're really nice. Two, you got two bathrooms in each one. Right on the lake. Yep. Yeah. This is great. Are you gonna stay here in the summer? Off and on. Yeah. You Can't be driving all the way back, can you? We, we just got to be cool we out. just got to be careful so they don't work us too hard. <laughs> we're, I think we're, it's pulling the other the, we're pulling the reins back on them cuz they, they just go 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 all day long. How's it pay? Uh, free rent. <laughs> That's <laughs> room and board. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we get to stay in a cabin. <laughs> yeah, well it's a lot of work owning a resort but the lifestyle is we're something. That's what we did it for. I mean, it, you know, ultimately you want to make the money and pay your bills, but yeah, it's, it's about a lifestyle too, change and, you know, more time for the kids a little bit and good way for our kids to grow up. How old are them kids? I, I never well, met we did. Them. We graduated an 18 year old this year from high school and then we've got a 14 year old son, Devin, and then we have a 12 year old daughter, Jordan. Well, you got child labor yeah. built in. <laughs> yeah. Gotta we'll, have it. We'll get them trained in here, I think. <laughs> That's there good. You go. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, you got a mix is. of vintage, mm -hmm. classic cabins. You got a mix of, I mean, ultra modern. Yeah. In that, floor heat and just crazy. Wow. That, that's what. That's what's kind of nice. You know, you kind of can offer a little bit of everything to the different customer. You know, the people that you know obviously want the 
want a certain look and obviously too it comes down to a little money too if people want a little sure. cheaper rental or so this is also i mean this is your reunion house or kind of you could call it that it's a four bedroom two story you got uh ac dishwasher you know kind of got all the amenities how many bedrooms four four bedroom and you call it white pine for that yeah reason? we call it white pine because of the big beautiful white pine tree unreal yeah, it's wow quite the tree this must book really good for you. Yeah, it's it's nice. It gives a you know gives an option to people that maybe want to be off on their own. It's off on its own little two acre lot here. Got your nice lake view up on the hill. Private dock. Wow. You know, kind of gives you gives you a little bit more privacy for them people maybe that don't want to be right in the middle of the nice. the cabins. So this thing will sleep up to what? Up to fourteen people. Yeah, got a got, couple futons, pullouts, yeah, bedrooms. Got a, got a king bed upstairs here with bathroom, full bath, and then downstairs you have three bedroom. Air conditioned. Air conditioned. Beautiful view of yeah, the lake. You got, yeah, that's one thing really nice with this. You, you're up on the hill, you got a real nice view of the lake. Everything's nice and open. This room is phenomenal right here. See? This is where all of the meals are. Yeah, every cabin's got a screen porch, the classic cabins and the, the new cabins. Well, at least people don't get driven in by mosquitoes because we got them, you know? Well, that's the thing. You got to provide a way for people to be able to enjoy the outdoors and keep away from the bugs. So, so far, you're glad you guys bought a resort? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's obviously a little overwhelming, you know, taking everything in. And you're, you're busy. That's the thing. You're busy, and I don't mind that. I like being busy. And You'll get your... Two slow periods a year, when the ice is going yeah. on the lake and when the ice is coming off the lake. Well, and we've seen that, you know, the spring. You yeah, know, A yeah. couple months to just play around and do projects and, you know, get acclimated with the place. And so, yeah, you, you got your off times to catch your breath. And Well, and the, when the ice is coming off, you're getting ready for summer. And when it's going on, in your case, you're going to have, what would you say, four cabins for yep. winter use? Yep. For ice fishing and snowmobiling. So. Yep. You'll be getting those ready and winterizing the rest of them. Definitely. Yeah, and the snowmobiling is kind of the main draw because we've got the snowmobile trail right off the road there. you got access right to the snowmobile trail. You go through the state land there, so it's a, it's a nice ride right over to the snowmobile trail. It's a nice place. And we've got scenic pine right down the road, two miles for your gas and your food and, you know, any liquor or anything you need. bluegills hopefully oh it's a bass look at that oh there's a hit this might be a good spot to hang out for a little bit I know Fish on. Yeah, this feels a little better. This might have a little meat on him. Nope, not. Well, not too bad. Still a little though. God, you inhaled it, buddy. Wow. That's a good fish. Cool. We need this to be a bluegill. Come on. You know, he's back and forth, so. There's the size. That's a better one. That's a dandy there. That's getting a little closer. Yeah, they're nice. That's still not what, still not quite what we want. They're though. pretty though. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's respectable. You guys got a 
my family's coming up to you this summer. Yeah. The majority of our guests have been coming here for 20 some years. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of repeat business, which is a good thing. It'll be fun summer, your first summer morning. Yeah. yeah, it's already been nice just getting acquainted to the few people that have come so far and just, you know, getting a feel for it. It's been fun. Way to go. Got another nice one. Yeah, it's a dandy. It's got some nice color. Nice bluegill. Dandy. Fun lake for the kids. What? Uh oh. What do you got going in the back here? Oh, uh -oh I got one. one. <laughs> Look at Sherry. Good thing we went back when you got there. Uh oh. I don't know. Another bass. We okay. need to get the net. Better again. get the, the net. net. Got another one. <laughs> Good thing we went back to the dock. Wow. Oh, look at that. That's a beauty. Jump. <laughs> Come on in. Oh. Oh. Wow. That's your second one today. Yeah, look at that. In the last hour. That's a bonus. Why? That's fun. Good job. This lake is loaded with bass, you've heard too, haven't you? Yeah. yeah there's you... a lot of nice sized ones like that too. Yeah, there you can get into the bass. Heavy, heavy. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Where is he? Look at there. Do you want the net? Yeah, I suppose. Just to make sure he doesn't break my line. Let me get out of the way. Get there. That's a good one. Good pickling size. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Oh, yeah. Perfect. He surprised you, didn't he? Yeah, he uh, he wanted it. He come back for it a few times. Look at there. That monster. Oh, look at that, huh? Wasson Lake. That yellow color on his belly. Beautiful. That's about a nine inch. Love it. So are one of the kids like uh, lined up to be the guide for the resort? Oh, they can all be the guide. Yeah? Oh, look at there. Another one. Yeah, it'll be fun. You're going to be open the winter too then, right, this year? Yep. Yep. We're open year round. We get a lot of snowmobilers in the winter time because the snowmobile trail is pretty much right off the end of our driveway. Yeah. So we get a lot of snowmobilers. What'd you say, John, earlier? You've got four cabins? Four winterized cabins, yep, that we can run through the winter. And... You're gonna build a couple of fish houses maybe? I saw your big wheelhouse. You'll let yeah. people rent that, huh? Yeah, kind of hoping, kind of hoping to maybe do a little ice fishing, maybe set up a spear house or two for the northerns in the winter. That'll be fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a, a bass deep, yeah, that's a northern. decent, it's a little bass, trying to get me in the weeds. Yeah, he did, for a little bit. That's fun. Oh yeah, he ain't done jumping yet, is he? Yeah, he wasn't going to get off. Well, I'm glad you guys invited us up this year. I'll tell you what. Are you looking forward to your first summer? Yeah, we are really looking forward to the first summer. Excited. We're very excited. How about the kids? Kids are very excited. We're excited to put them to work. Yeah. Well, we had a blast out here today. I mean, we caught a mixed bag. We got a few northerns, some big bass. A few of those giant bluegills. We couldn't yeah. find the crappies. You said last week, John, the crappies were uh, biting. Yeah, last weekend they were hitting pretty good, and yeah, maybe we just might have missed it a little bit the way it's looking because we just well, couldn't find them, like you said. We still had fun. So, and you still have a few cabins open at Loon Point Resort for the summer, right? We just have a few cabins open for the summer. All right. So, people want to get a hold of you up here. What is the website and phone number? The website is loonpointresortmn.com and the phone number is area code 
1470. Well, we had a blast, like I say, really enjoyed it. Folks, we appreciate you watching Minnesota Resort Sales Outdoors. We'll see you next week.